Hey guys, uh, friends and family. And if you're not a friend or family and you're just interested in fashion or you know about why not, um, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, so if you don't know me, I am a student at FIT, Fashion Institute of Technology. I'm studying marketing and I currently live in New York and it is honestly just a really great, well, I'm currently saying that in January 2021, but before the pandemic, it was lively and it was amazing. And it still is amazing. If you look for all the amazing things to do without being surrounded by other people. So, what is this? You ask. Is it chocolate? Definitely looks like a chocolate box, but it's not. It is even better than that. It's a card holder. <laughs> That's so materialistic. Anyway, so this is the envelope pouch um, by Moynot. It, this one is in carrot calfskin, which they say is equivalent to the Hermes Epsom leather. And I would, I would definitely believe that because I have had pieces in Epsom leather. And this definitely feels a lot like Epsom leather. So this is in the Turtle Dove and black color. They also have three other color variations to my knowledge, as well as um, a canvas, a canvas, um, a variation that has a canvas pouch as well as like a, like a very, like a satin calfskin envelope, which is beautiful. But I think the satin calf is very delicate and this is very hard wearing. Um, I've had this for probably around a year and a half. I got this in April, 2019. And it still looks like brand new. So this is lined in the coolest amber goat skin. It's it's beautiful. And the zipper is palladium hardware. Maybe just palladium plated. I'm not quite sure. And this is what the envelope looks like when you open it up. So what can you fit? You can fit 10 cards plus some cash and a key or two comfortably just in this pouch alone. And then in the envelope, you can fit five cards. And then in here, I have put my Metro card or slipped in some cash if I really needed it. And right now I have $6. So maybe we'll just have to go to McDonald's after this video. <laughs> um, so where can you go to a Moy Not? Um, most of their locations are gonna be overseas. They did have, a, I, I did get this in the Madison Avenue location, but that has been temporarily closed. And the only location they have right now in New York is in the Saks. And I think they also have a location in California. Um, I believe so. So what, what is Moy Not? Who is Moy Not? Where is Moy Not? Well, I already answered where is Moy Not, but Moy Not was founded in 1849 and it was one of the earliest premier Parisian trunk makers along with Eau de Part, um, which is on its way to revival, just like uh, Moy Not is, Louis Vuitton and Goyard. So uh, there is just so much history within this brand. One cool thing that I know about this brand is that uh, the I believe that whoever whoever it was, one of the main designers or someone like that, Pauline Moynat, she was like she was like one of the first, you know, females to be at like the head of a brand. Like she was she was she was like a she was big in the brand. Uh, which I, I definitely admire because back then women weren't normally seen as being leaders or they weren't in like these huge positions like Pauline Moynat was for this brand, which I definitely commend and respect. 
So would I recommend this card holder? Yes, a thousand percent yes. But it is expensive. It it is very expensive. I I I saved up so long for this. Well, I'd been saving up, you know, long before since I knew that I was gonna get this. But when I when I found this, I knew that it was a one. Um, so it it is well. In 2019, April, when I purchased it, it was $500, which is... <laughs> I apologize to my mother. Uh, I, well, I did apologize to her. I said, look, like, I got this. And she says, oh, that's so nice. How much was it? <laughs> um, $500. Um, so, yeah, the quality on these pieces is amazing. All of them are handmade in France. And it's just, they have the utmost best quality control. Um, I do I do believe that they are currently owned by LVMH, so underneath that conglomerate. Um, before then, they were kind of, you know, revived as kind of like a side project by their own notes. But I do know that, you know, when you look in the website, it says why not, it's part of LVMH. And I definitely look forward to uh, keeping up with what else my not has to offer. They did, they did currently transition from Ramesh Nair, who was the old creative director, to a new creative director whose name is Nicholas Knightley. He used to be a part of Louis Vuitton. So what you can see is some of Louis Vuitton's DNA kind of being injected into my not, which I know a lot of people aren't fans of. Um, if you look on Purse Form or read Instagram comments, but I definitely do think Nicholas Knightley could project my not into being like a household name. So that is something to maybe or maybe not look forward to. Anyway, um, please let me know what you think of this item. I I love it. It is one of the holy grails of my wardrobe. And I would like to hear more about what you guys think of this item as well as what else you would like to see from me. Um, I do have, you know, shoes I could view, jackets, fragrances. I just, I just like talking about fashion. And I also like to talk about New York. So, you know, if you guys have any recommendations or you've been dying to go someplace and you want me to go there, like, for you and I can do, like, a little tour and a review um i'd be happy to do that so uh yeah thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day